Shut your mouth, you crazy bastard. We're still expecting three more people to join our little party. The League of Villains made a mistake going after them with a bunch of random thugs at the USJ. Better to use a small group of elites. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife Montana and this is Hogarth. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 3, Episode 6 of My Hero Academia. Episode 3. Fuck. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 3, Episode 3 of My Hero Academia, Coda. Big, Big curl up. Last episode, we got introduced to the camp and the wild, wild pussycats, and we learned that they're going to be training the power of their quirks because they've been working on technique, but they haven't really upgraded their base power level. What are your thoughts before we jump in? I'm excited to see kind of what everyone, oh, Rue's here, what Everybody's everyone here. else's base power is because we know that Deku's is like, he's at like 5% or something like that, mm -hmm. um, but I wonder what everyone else is like where they are where their ceiling is yeah that's a really great question and oh my goodness they're so beautiful oh <gasps> mrs rue hello kitty they now they really want my attention here but uh what are your thoughts for oh yeah that's a really good question and i'm excited for you to see uh what everybody's ceilings are and what continues to happen at camp uh, but if you're excited for this episode of My Hero Academia, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for new episodes coming every Sunday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon and are extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for episode three of season three of My Hero Academia? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. We're focusing on our quirks? Class A is already training. You all need to catch up. Last semester, oh, Class wow. A was in the spotlight. Remember this? Next semester, mm -hmm. it's Class B's turn. From now on, Back to one B. shooting for okay. a don't let me down! We're such disappointing students! I get you want everyone to improve our quirks, but we have 20 unique powers in our class. What kind of training will help all of us get better? Great yeah, question. Can you be more specific? When your muscle fibers are overused, they break and grow back tougher, thicker. Quirks are the same way. They improve the heart. Oh, oh my god. Ho Ho Love that you went to call him Appa. Because that was an Appa move. That is an Appa move. The harder you push them, stronger after every workout. In other words, there's only one thing to do. But everyone's going to work out you'll differently. You'll have to break yourselves. <laughs> right, but ev okay. But you'll see. So they're going to try to improve their course. He's plunging his hands into boiling water to expand his sweat glands, then creating chain explosions to increase the scale of his bang and attacks. What? Yo, yo, he's opening his sweat glands. Alternating land. between ice and fire, he's regulating the temperature of the water. His body gets accustomed to the cold, and he works on controlling okay. his Okay. Isn't that amazing? Very cool. Ones. Wow. This is... I've seen a thirst edit start with this specific clip right it's coming up with Todoroki. <laughs> yes, I believe that. Right here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Um. Look at him go. <laughs> Ida, just run. Okay. Okay, so it's just like going to muscle failure, basically. That's good. That's <laughs> all right. Okay. That makes sense. She's getting her inner ear canals used to zero gravity in an effort to reduce nausea, all while increasing how much weight oh. she can lift. Nightmare situation. Hardcore long distance running improves his leg strength and stamina. Just run. <laughs> Suyu Asui. 
she's working out all the muscles in her body, including her tongue. Rikido Sato. He's lifting weights while at the same time scarfing down the sugar that allows him to power up his sweet work. Momo okay. Yairosu. Also stuffing her face, she hopes to amp up her creation work and shorten the amount of time needed for her to use it. If what? She uses the lipids and fat in her system in order to uh, create what she creates, so more fats, okay. more creation. But, but what specifically is that thing that she's eating? Probably. A red avocado. I was thinking chocolate covered strawberries. I'm not sure though. Oh, that that right there is what she's creating. Oh. Yeah, no, those are oh, the gotcha, little gotcha, nesting gotcha. dolls, I think. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we'll wait till the end of the sum up, but isn't it fun seeing all the different quirks and how they're working It is very out? cool. Like seeing the specific situation that gets their specific quirk to its weakness. Yeah. Or to its weakest. Or it's like limit. Yeah. yeah I feel like that's going to have a ton of implications later on. Momo Yaoyorosu, also stuffing her face, she hopes to amp up her creation quirk and shorten the amount of time needed for her to use it. Kyoka Jiro, amplifying the quality of her audio by honing her headphone jacks. <laughs> oh, wow. By constantly creating acid, she can increase her skin's durability. Minoru Mineta, increasing okay. the strength of his scalp will keep his head from bleeding even when he keeps popping off balls. Toru Hagakure and Meizo Shoji, they're improving their quirks by having Shoji quickly create multiple dupla arms and hunt down Hagakure, who is working on her stealth. Oh, man. All right. So what do you make of all that? Wow. Okay. And also I'll preempt what is your favorite of them in terms of like how they're stretching out their quirks? I think probably, oh my God, this should be illegal. I think probably Dark Shadow just because... Just because I feel like specifically the cave component makes working with a shit like that is so smart. I think I'm also excited to see where Dark Shadow ends up because I mean it's a quirk where as it gets more and more powerful, he loses control of it, which is kind of true for a lot of the students, but I feel like Dark Shadow is the one where it's most evident. So that is a pretty unique situation and it makes it so that the better he's able to control his quirk, the more powerful he's going to be, mm -hmm. which is very exciting. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for you to see all their improvements, but I love that scene because uh, if they didn't show everybody, I'd be like, wait, how did they work it out? But they got yeah, everybody in class. Exactly. Hunt down Hagakure, who is working on her stealth. Oh man, this is pretty. Does intense. she need to work on her Operative stealth? Types will be <laughs> raising your limits, maxing out your power. And the rest, you'll mostly focus on strengthening body parts related to your quirks. Now, normally, these changes happen hmm. what gradually do... as you grow, but we don't have time for it's that. It's a comedic thing. Your okay. class has a lot of work to do. Once we team up with Class A, there will be 40 students here. That's a whole lot of quirks for our homeroom teachers to manage on their own. Which is why we called them. That's correct! Four kids Oh, one. boy. Your feline fantasies are right, here. Right, right, right. They're back. We're champions serving up justice with our tails. Perfectly human cat-like heroes. We're the wild, wild pussycats. So here's the other two. Amazing. Damn it! I'm Ragdoll in my quirk is search. I can look it up to a hundred people and know everything about them. Like their location Ooh. and weakness. With my earth bow, I can create the ideal training ground for every student. And my quirk is called telepath. That's I can helpful. I to multiple people. The name also Tiger, helpful. And I'm here to beat you guys to a pulp. <laughs> Alright. So that's how I, they're I good should, at rescue. I have several questions about that. Okay. Isn't that fun? Very that's fun. That's why they're a rescue team. Amazing. That's a great group concept. Yeah. For the looking at a hundred people, is it a hundred pre-selected people or a group of up to a hundred people that you can figure out everything about? I'm not gonna answer that one. Fantastic. I would like to know that. Interesting that the ability to like yeah. I have questions about him. Damn it! <laughs> I have questions about him. Strength quirks. Time for Tiger's boot camp. Class A's <laughs> already sweating, so catch up quick. Come on, show me what you got. Five percent Detroit smash! Yeah, like he's still only at five percent. Oh god. Cat if punch. If you don't push yourself, you, you won't shred so your muscle yeah. fibers, and then you won't get stronger. Right, sir. I can't hear you. Tear your right, muscles. Sir. This is scary. 
Okay, you can't you go too crazy with it, though, you. because then you then actually, like, me. tear. Yes, I mean... You wanna be no. Ultra, don't you? Then show me what that means! Yes, sir! That's all I needed. That's all I needed for him to do that, and it, it became personal with me. That guy is way more intense than I expected. Hmm. <laughs> in, in, There's a in, lot in going like a on at UA, so it's hard it. for us to spare much staff As for the Hero Force first years. Based on their experience and range of powers, these four were the most logical choice to help you enhance your quirks in such a short amount of time. Don't fall behind Class A! Do me proud! Yes, sir! They're really pitting them against each other. <sighs> yeah. Hoogie roll. The quirk all my passed on to me was more than I deserved. And then Gran Torino taught me how to use it in a way that wouldn't destroy my body. You're overflowing with energy at the moment. With training, your body will hold it better. I've come a long way in such a short time. It's up to me to move forward and make this power my own. That's right! Tear that weak quick apart and make it stronger! Yes, sir! All right. And there's Coda. Now, I know. We're not serving your food anymore. If you guys want to eat, you'll have to make your own meal. Starting okay. With yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, man, do you guys look exhausted? But that doesn't <laughs> mean you can coast by making sloppy cat food. Oh, I see. An important part of saving someone recovering from a disaster is providing for their physical needs as well as spiritual. Ah, this is a great opportunity. Fantastic. Let's make the most delicious curry in the world, everyone. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Ida. Hey, Cooking scene. I always love that anime. 100%. And using their quirk. Oh! This is so beneath me. Too much. Rely on others and you'll never learn to start a fire yourself. We should focus on acquiring new skills. Oh. Here, let me... Thank you for that. It's not too hot, okay? We did it! <laughs> Learn to use the fire, I love it. Very cool. But after today, I'll eat every bite. I don't say that. Also, I would argue using his dad's firepower to like cook for his friends is a bigger fuck you to his dad than just not using the firepower at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. When I send this crap back, but after today, I'll eat every bite. I'll oh, show you that. Whoa, you're scarfing, Momo. Yes, my quirk transforms lipids into brand new atoms to create inorganic materials. That means the more I eat, the more I can make. Uh, like how poop works. Apologize! <laughs> Sorry! I mean... It's lipid specifically, though, so if she were to eat something that's more lipid heavy, she would be more powerful than just eating regular food. Yes. Okay. Coda's wandering off. Someone needs to get this girl coconut oil. Hmm. I heard that. You must be hungry. Here, I brought you some curry. No way! How'd you find this place? Oh, sorry. I followed your footsteps. I thought you might want some dinner before it gets cold. Whatever. I'm just fine. Get lost. I don't want to hang out with you, so forget about my secret hideout. Hmm? This is a secret hideout? <laughs> Spending your entire life trying to improve your quirk. It's dumb. All you want to do is show off. Get lost. Interesting. Hey, he about thinks it's about parents. showing off. I mm -hmm. was wondering, were they the water hose heroes with the water hooks? <gasps> Did Mandalay uh, tell you? No, it's, um, well... Sorry, but I heard a little about what happened to them, and based on that information, I figured... I remember reading about that horrible incident a few years ago. Go away. Everyone here is so crazy. Calling people stupid names like hero and villain and then killing each other because of it. Always focusing on their quirks. If they hadn't been showing off, they'd still be here. Idiots. It's not just heroes. Coda hates quirks. And this oh, wow. entire superhuman society. We're done here. Go back to camp with the other losers! Um, hey, my, uh, my friend. This guy I knew really well, he didn't inherit any abilities from his parents. Aww. Asking for a friend. It's a hereditary thing, and these days it's really uncommon. He admired heroes so much and wanted to be one. 
Thing is, you can't usually become a hero unless you've got some kind of quirk. But still, my friend refused to accept that and hoped for a miracle. He tried to use telekinesis <laughs> and to breathe fire. God, he was trying so That's hard. That's so sad. There are lots of different ways to think about how quirks work, so we might not be on the same page. But I think that if you reject them completely, it's just going to make life harder in so many ways. Will you just leave me alone already? Go away! I'm sorry. I guess I have a habit of rambling sometimes. Here, I'll leave the curry. So he didn't want That's to eat nice. their food even because right, they cooked yeah. it. But leaving the food is so not showing off. Because if being a hero is about publicly doing oh, something... Just mm -hmm. stop it. Did you see that? Or? I do not what? like this. Never mind. It's so not cute. They were engineered for the black market, from what I hear. Can we rewind? You should be worried that no? they work, okay. not that they look pretty. Ugh, I'm just saying they could be a little more stylish. Is that too much to ask? Hi, darlings. Kind of. Sorry to keep you waiting. Get to work. Oh. Get to work. I remember they they knew the location. That makes seven mm -hmm. of us. I don't care. Just let me loose. I'm too pumped up to stand by. Shut your mouth, you crazy bastard. We wait. We're still expecting three more people to join our little party. The League of Villains made a mistake going after them with a bunch of random thugs at the USJ. Better to use a small group of elites. The first thing we have to do is take away their sense of peace and show them that their lives rest in our hands. Don't love that. So, okay. yeah, okay. that's uh, Dobby and six other mm -hmm. um, villains. What are your thoughts on all that? And also Deku and mm -hmm. Koda scene. It seems like that group is significantly more organized than anything we've seen from villains so far. It's a team and it's been planned and there's strategy. So that's really scary. Yeah. And then, uh, so definitely not looking good there and they know where they are. And then what do you make of Deku and Koda? And Koda, that's just the fact that Koda was willing to go hungry so that he wouldn't have to accept the food or help or company of heroes in training, not even like fully fledged heroes, shows just how deep this goes for him. Um, I also thought it was very interesting that he repeated several times the showing off bit, because that's a tough way to think about your parents. You know, it would be one thing if you hated your parents for being heroes and like, oh, they went to go help other people and then they didn't help me. Like they were supposed to take care of me and then they died helping other people. But for it to be, they were just showing off. That's, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's interesting. Yeah, it's very Worth pointing out. Hey, remedial group. <laughs> Keep at it. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, but I need more beauty rest. <laughs> Who knew yesterday's extra lessons would we'll go on until two this in the morning? This is a group that failed. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, I see. I told you it'd be tough. Remember, you're not just That's improving like five your hours course. of sleep. You're also five hours of not class. You're also the weaknesses I yeah. saw in the finals. <laughs> Think carefully about why you're more tired than the others before you start whining. You have much to improve here. Right? Yes, sir! Uraka, Aoyama, the same goes for you. Your team didn't fail, but you were very close. I'd say you passed the proverbial finish line by only a hair. That bad. Yikes. Don't lose focus. Each of you can move faster. And no matter what you're doing, just remember where you started from. Don't forget who you were before you A. Always keep in mind why you're sweating and why your limits keep getting tested. That's what it means to improve. Where I started. Who I am. How I got here. Hey, that reminds me, Mr. Aizawa, it's already the third day of camp. Weren't you listening? Stay focused. I was just wondering if all might, I mean, the other teachers from UA will be joining us? Like I said before we came out here, to keep the camp a secret from the villains, hardly anyone knows where we are. That's why you get to break out with those poor pussycats! And think Even the teachers it. can't we be trusted? All might is one of the league's targets, so we can't have him here. It's for your own safety. Oh, okay. For better or for worse, that's what he gets for standing out so much. Makes it odd that the villains know where they are. <laughs> right? Seems like it's mostly for worse these days. <laughs> 
So that's it. All Might won't be here to help me. Meow, 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 meow. More importantly, tonight's gonna be fun! We're pitting classes against each other in a test of courage. You've been training hard today, and later you'll get to play hard. How's that for a reward? It just sounds like I more training just want than training in the dark, yeah. no less. Revelry in the dark. <laughs> How much can we do in one day? <laughs> At least we get to beat class A, am I right? Don't slack now! All Make he ever sure thinks you keep about. on pushing yourself as you work! Yes, ma'am! Remember where I came from. Hey, you're not plus ultra yet. <gasps> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not blowing stuff up. I'm too tired for this. He's really That's really funny. Yeah. Did you need All Might for a particular reason? You asked Mr. Aizawa about him. Yeah, um I did. <laughs> Interesting like, question. What's y'all's relationship? Like what's Who's happening? Huh? Oh, because of Koda. The boy that's mm -hmm. over there. He's Mandalay's cousin's Hold on. Where did he go? Probably to his hideout. He really doesn't like being around everyone. Anyway, Coda doesn't like heroes. Actually, he hates the whole concept of superhumans, quirks and everything. I tried to talk to him, but I think I just made things worse. I was just wondering what All Might would have done to help him if he'd been here. I mean, what would you say to him, Todoroki? It depends. Of course, sorry I asked. To have a complete stranger try to change your mindset sounds like a pretty irritating conversation. What matters are actions. You have to show him what you're trying to prove, right? If you're going to rely Which on like leaving the food, then they'd better be mm -hmm. incredibly powerful. What you say doesn't matter near as much as what you actually do. So when I saw this timid, quirkless boy try to save a life, it inspired me to act too. Young man, you too can become a hero. Oh, the way All Might inspired right. him, he can inspire Koda. Mm -hmm. How can I, a stranger, say anything to him? I don't know what your goal is when it comes to this child, but it sounds to me like you shouldn't be sticking your nose in a delicate situation. We tend to cut to the heart of people's feelings. It can be annoying. <laughs> right. You know who's good Sorry at cutting to the that. heart of people's you feelings? Deku? No, we'll the girl who the can you... look at someone and know every single thing about them. Mm. About that, you guys, your hands aren't moving. We'll never <laughs> make the best do if you stop now. Perfect. <laughs> we filled our bellies and cleaned the dishes. It's time for a totally awesome test of courage. We're gonna win. <laughs> Not so fast. It pains me to say it, but the remedial Damn. class will be having lessons with me tonight instead. <laughs> So, you're training during the day to me, so I'll be using this time too. Oh, give me All right. a break. I just want to prove my courage. Okay, so Class B is going to start out as our scarers. When they're in place, Class A will leave in pairs every three minutes. There are tags with your names on them at the far end of the route. Your goal is to collect those. Revelry in the dark. Little game. Why does he keep saying that? Okay. Keep saying now, those that. Those who are scarers aren't allowed to make physical contact. Use your quirks to terrify the others. Get it? The winners are the creative students who make the if most. If you know that you're not allowed to hurt each other, then visual? what is stopping you? They're encouraging us to stoke our imaginations as we compete. What? Like, I feel like saying you can use your it's, quirks but it, don't hurt each it's other. It's very like general terms, like. It's the same right. way they weren't hurting each other in the Hero Festival. Okay. Like, they were competing, okay. but, like, Bakugo wasn't trying to blow them up. Right, gotcha. Those who are scarers aren't allowed to make physical contact. Use your quirks to terrify the others, get it? The winners are the creative students who make the most people piss their pants. Did we need that visual? <laughs> Why are they trying to scare? They're encouraging us to stoke right? our imaginations as we compete with each other, all while showing us more uses for our quirks in the process. As expected of you, A. Eh? <laughs> Got some scary cows. Clarifying. <laughs> if we're in teams of two, boy, there are twenty of us, but five in extra lessons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How does he know that that's going to be the okay? Let's try pairing. this again. They're all chatting. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. 
We were that randomly sucks. assigned. It's not that nobody chose you or anything. Listen up, Tail. <laughs> Trade with me. <laughs> he doesn't like ice. Yeah. Why did you trade with me? Revelry in the dark. Four times Dude. now. Jeez. Next team. That's you two kittens. Ribby and Miss Floater. I'm getting scared, Sue. And those screams aren't helping. That's Kyoka and Toru, I think. Here, take my hand. Don't be afraid. We'll look out for each other. One step at a time. Very ahead. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, Kona. You managed to scare everybody so far, you big creeper. Yeah, you're the star of the night. Huh. I can't what? get over what how is funny and Todoroki were. <laughs> I thought they were tough. <laughs> hey, smell that? I think there's something burning nearby. Why is them going, uh, them not being tough? I don't know. They apparently they got scared. Maybe Bakugo smoky. and Todoroki got so scared. No, they're going to sleep. Do it! Don't bring them! The smoke! It's poisonous! Am I supposed to know what's happening right now? You see that? Cool. My hero will always tell you. Okay. Maybe a fire on the mountain? Oh shit. Okay. Now it begins. Oh. oh my god. Take them down. Those who believe they deserve the title hero. We the Vanguard oh boy. Action Squad of the League of Villains will tear them off their pedestals. So their oh my god, they're starting the right first, now? Holy sh- wait, is that the- What? Oh my god. Why? I thought they made sure no one could find us! Yep, they're attacking. So why the heck are oh they- Oh my god! Attacking this place? Pixie Ball! This is bad. Understatement of the century. Oh boy. And that's where we're left for this episode of My Hero Academia. All right. Who could that be near All Koda? Right. Who knows? Did you see that? I saw that there was someone. I didn't see who it was. Yeah. There's, there's someone just, just, just chilling just out there. Just hanging out. Just having a nice hang. No, no post credits. Oh scene. boy. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 what? The villain in question is still at large. It's you! Papa! Mama! Yep. So sweet. I'm going to save you, Coda! Drown me! I will not let him get past me! Coda! Run! Go now! What are your thoughts before we jump into our discussion? I feel like that attack had like the smallest amount of lead up or build up or explanation to begin with. So for that to just happen in like the middle of one of their exercises, that's really unsettling. Yeah, like they set it up like a classic My Hero exercise and then it just... Out nope. of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Not looking great for the students there, but uh, no. that's where we're left. Uh, thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for episodes coming every Sunday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you can't wait and want to see these episodes early, they're all posted to Patreon and they're extended full length forms. And uh, we're 10 episodes ahead on there. So join the link in the description below to check that out. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one. Jinchurki87 asks, Todoroki tells Deku, if you're going to try to change a stranger's mind, back it with strong action. What do you think this could be in order to change Koda's mind, who hates quirks, period? I think potentially hearing from Deku, or at least like getting the vibe from Deku that he knows that it's possible to be a good person without a quirk because that 
that was just Deku in the first part of his life. But then in terms of what could potentially convince him, I think it's going to come down to the showing off thing that if, if you're not doing it in front of anyone and you're not going to claim any sort of responsibility for it, you're just doing it because you're a good person and you want to help people, that maybe that could start to kind of sway his opinion. And what do you think that would uh, look like? I think potentially another one of those situations, like when they fought, oh God, what was his name? Like the first big villain. Nomu? Shigaraki? The one where in the newspapers they had to say it wasn't the That's kids. That's Stain. Stain. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Stain. Maybe a similar thing to the Stain situation where you do all of the work and take all of the risk and get none of the acclaim or public celebration kind of thing. Um, yeah. That maybe that could kind of we'll start to change his mind. We'll see. Um not going to say anything, but let's go to our second question. Danny C asks, we get to meet a handful of new villains here. Are there any that stick out to you strictly based on their designs or dialogue? Have we seen anything from the one that kind of looks like, I think it's alien where it's just like one big mouth. Its arms are all wrapped up. Um, yeah, that one it does look interesting. Well, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out what kind of power could be connected to that kind of aesthetic. Because like, because like obviously not everyone's costumes are like, an obvious reflection of what their like quirk or, or strength or whatever they do but that's a very weird look and quirk wise all of the other designs are conducive to the quirk so what the fuck is that conducive to good question i really am not i mean i'm excited to see it but like i'm not looking forward to it yeah uh definitely. i am but <laughs> I know it's going to be bad. It's always interesting when you can see a villain's design but not know their quirk yet. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in this show. Well, uh, duh. Yeah. All right, let's go to our final question. Final question. The Lorax asks, what are your thoughts on quirk training methods? Any of them surprise you? And do some of them seem way easier slash less, less painful than others? Which do you think would be the worst? So you said you like Dark Shadow the best. Yeah, I thought of- that was very fun. And I also feel like that's going to be the most productive in terms of energy put in and benefit put out. Yeah. Well, what do you make of like the discrepancies of difficulty? Maybe? Yeah. I mean, I get it from the perspective of like everyone's quirks are different. So everyone's going to need a different kind of workout to really improve those strengths. At the same time, I feel like there's a pretty big difference between just do this over and over and over until you're too tired to do it anymore versus you're going to do this thing with something actively hindering you doing that. Like those are not equivalent. So. And what are you referring to with that? Um, Sparkle guy. What's his? I don't know his name. The navel laser guy where he was just doing that until he got tired. Same thing with the ball creation freak versus Todoroki, who's like switching back and forth between like ice baths and like hot tub, like just, it was a lot more involved and a lot more painful, um, I feel like, so. And which do you think would be the worst? That's such a tough question. Remind me what some of the ones that we saw were. We had Bakugo constantly, ex- I think maybe Bakugo, constantly exploding and then putting his hands in boiling water to yeah, expand his- Yeah, that looked terrible. To expand his uh, sweat glands to yeah, make like you exploding can, you more. You can't make the argument that that's like the same amount of training difficulty as just practice a bunch of times. Yeah, it is more, it, yeah, it, it is equal, I would say, in terms of quirk advancement, though, which is what they're going for. Interesting. So it's like the Like their power degree. level's at X and they're all going to be like X plus five, I would say. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the amount of pain in their training directly correlates to their potential max power and their power going into training. That's what I think. Is okay. That's why Todoroki and Bakugo had it the worst. It's because they have the highest threshold of power. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. But, uh... Very interesting. Yeah. That's kind of how we approach dog training. Exactly. Literally exactly. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's where we're left for this episode. Um, are we excited for our next episode, episode four of season three, My Hero. Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.